Good morning. It is Thursday, the 17th of December, and I'm on my way to uh, an appointment with my midwives. I've got Lucy with me this morning, which uh, I don't really like the idea of bringing her into an office like this, but uh, you know, childcare turned out to not work out today. So she's coming with me and yeah, hopefully it'll be nice and quick and then we can get back home and do whatever it is we do together all day long. So I'm seeing the same practice that I saw with my last pregnancy and that is a group of midwives here in Arcata. And luckily it's really close to my house and I really love seeing midwives rather than a doctor. And I feel really lucky that I can do that. Um, you know, if I start to have any complications or anything, I of course will go to a doctor in a hospital, but I was lucky enough last time to be able to give birth with Lucy at their birth center. Um, unmedicated and not in a hospital. It was kind of amazing. And hopefully it'll be a similar experience this time. I don't know. I'm sure everybody's pregnancies and births are different, uh, but I don't know. If this one goes anything like Lucy's one, I will feel very, very lucky. My plan for the rest of today after we get home is to finish up the yarn that I dyed yesterday. It is waiting to be um, washed and dried and then it usually takes a day or two to dry and then I can skein it up and that'll be done. So I'll work on that a little bit later and I have been considering frogging my oxbow sleeve. I did the increases a little bit differently than the pattern called for, and that's just because uh, it's a four, no, it's a, yeah, it's a four round repeat, the pattern itself is. And the rate of increases didn't really jive with that, so I would have had to do extra figuring out and keeping track rather than just doing it like on a set number of sets or repeats. So I tried doing it differently and I don't love it. So I think I need to rip it out and just start over according to the pattern directions, which will be fine. It'll just take a little extra um, working out and like, you know, a little sheet of paper where I'll have to check off rows and stuff as I go through them instead of just kind of doing it. Uh, what's the word? More intuitively. So I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I'm considering it. It's sitting in a little bit of a timeout right now because it's... Okay, we're almost here so I will check in with you all later. Okay, so it's a while later. I had my appointment, it went really well. Lucy did great. And she uh, is in her room right now. She again did not take a nap, but she did take a nap, like fall asleep for her nap for the last two days, which was exciting. So I had high hopes for today, but that's okay. I, uh, <laughs> uh, my, this, 
fellow right here, he broke. So that's my spin dryer that I use for dyeing yarn, for wringing all of the water out of the yarn that I've dyed. And it's the most helpful tool in my business. And I went to use it today to, so in those two buckets right there are the yarns that I dyed yesterday. I went to use it today to spin dry all the water out. And I use it several times per batch of yarn. So I uh, have the yarn sitting in the water that it was dyed in. All of the dye has been exhausted, but it is like an acidic bath. So I use it to get all that water out. And then I rinse it in plain water, use it to rinse out to get all that water out. And then I soak it in like a wash water. And then I use it to get all that water out. And then I rinse it one more time. And then I use it again. So when I went to use it for the first time earlier today, it did not work. And I thought maybe like my breaker was tripped. All the breakers are fine. All the, I tried it in a few different plugs. It's broken. I'm so sad about it. I'm so sad about it. It's lasted me probably a couple of years now, maybe. But uh, I'm definitely going to have to get a new one. Because just wringing out this one batch of yarn by hand is a pain in the f don't want to do it. So I have it soaking in its soapy water right now. And so I just have to do, sorry, I just have to do two more rings by hand before it's ready to dry. It's okay. It's all right. I just have to buy a new one. They're like a hundred bucks, which, you know, isn't an insignificant amount of money, but you know, business costs are business costs. So, I'm just sad. It was. Ju it's just such a good machine, and now it's over. <sighs> so, yeah, that's my that's my sad tale for today. Oh my gosh, I just went inside to get Lucy to get her up from the nap she didn't take and she was asleep. I saw it on the monitor, I didn't go in there. She's asleep, which normally would be good, but it's 2.15 right now, which is way too late for her to be taking a nap. Uh, ideally, she sleeps from like, for like an hour from like 1 to 2 or 1.30 to 2.30 even, but 2.15 to 3.15 is way too Probably wake her up at, oh gee, I don't even know. It's okay. We'll see what happens. Are you enjoying Lucy's nap saga? <laughs> Very interesting stuff going on around here. Okay, I guess I have more time to chill or work. We'll see.
I'm totally working. And she didn't even sleep for that long. She woke up after about 35, 40 minutes, which is perfect. She's just uh, lying in her crib now. I went in to try to get her, to try to catch her before she fell back to sleep, because like, she will if I just let her. And she looked at me and she was just like, no. So I came back out here and did uh, the kitchener on my toe. Now I'm gonna do more laundry because the stereotype is true and when you have a kid you do laundry like every single day if you can. It's great. Let's see. Hopefully she's not asleep. She's not. She's cool. That's her. Being cute. Okay. Your squirrel being cute. Okay, it's after dinner now. We had B for D, which is code for breakfast for dinner. We had scrambled eggs, hash browns, bacon, and toast. It was really good. <laughs> and um, I am in the garage now because I am going to finish up my yarn because Colin totally fixed my spin dryer. Yay. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening, you know, plus TV and knitting and snacking on peppermint patties. Uh, but I'm going to leave you here. So I'll see you tomorrow for possibly a Friday vlog, but definitely for a podcast. <laughs>